How long have we been doing these shows now? <laughs> like three and a half months. Yeah, I think it's nearly four months. Four months we've been doing this. And I've got to tell you, it hasn't got any easier. Like, as a, you know, we're performers, the band are performers, we love an audience. There's nothing worse than trying to tell jokes alone in complete silence. But tonight, we're going to try something that's going to be different because I don't know if you've read about this. There's a brand new company, and we're excited about this a new company that will provide anyone who needs one with an online virtual audience so that you can get real time feedback. Reg, you must have friends, stand up comedians who are, who are doing this sort of thing. They're using it. CEOs of big companies are using it to unveil new products to their workforce and so on and so forth. And basically, we at The Late Late Show, we've signed up. So tonight, we're going to do an actual monologue with a genuine live audience. I don't know how they find these people. I don't, but we figure we're going to give it a try. Okay, so what I have to do, uh, this is exciting. I have to open this, and then it, if I click on this, this should be... Hey, James! It worked! Hey, James! Oh, no, not you two. Oh, look! He really is in the garage. Yeah, but his ratings are still in the basement. Oh, <laughs> boom! <laughs> I, I don't think this is going to work. We'll be the judge of that. Yeah, why would tonight be any different? Oh. <laughs> you know what? Do you know what? Fine. Okay, okay. That's how you want to do it. Fine. I'm a professional. Fine. That's the audience we've got. That's what we'll do. Okay, let's jump in with the monologue. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> According to a recent poll, Mr. Blue Sky by ELO is the happiest song ever recorded. It beat out the second happiest song of all time, any song that immediately follows Baby Shark. Hmm. Not only did that joke not land, it never got off the runway. <laughs> Better check with the tower. I don't think it ever got cleared for takeoff. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, all right, you didn't like that? Fine, we'll try another one. Here's another one. Okay, you'll like this one. Scientists have recently discovered that mice are smaller now than they were a hundred years ago. Obviously, none of those sciences have ever been to Disneyland. <laughs> uh-huh, yes! Yes, there you go, you like that one! No, we made a bet. I said there was no way your jokes could get any worse. And I won! Uh, <laughs> you know what, you think you're the only ones who can throw around clever insults? Is that what you think? Well, we can all do that. What about this? You two... Here's one about the, the both of you... You both, give me a minute. Take the whole hour. Yeah, and wake us when you're funny. <laughs> ah, right, this is ridiculous. How are these the only people? Uh, uh, hey there. Hi, James. What? Hello. Kermit? <laughs> yeah, hi, James. Fozzy, oh, thank goodness you're both here. Oh, I, you know what? I, I am so sorry about those guys. I apologize. Please, James, James, continue. You're, you're doing great. You're doing great. Yeah. yeah. Love your stuff. Very funny. Oh, ah. you don't know how much I needed to hear that, guys. Thank you so much. This is a better audience. Okay, here's one. You'll like this one. Okay. An Idaho woman has set a new world record by dressing her husband in 32 t-shirts in one minute. According to the husband, he's almost got the hang of it and he could be dressing himself soon. <laughs> uh, yeah. Say, maybe we should do a musical number, huh? Oh, 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 oh yeah, boy, that, that, you know what, that could be fun too. Hey, oh, wait a minute, did you guys plan and rehearse a big musical number, maybe even with my own band, just in case you had to save me from telling more jokes? Um, maybe. Well, then I've got to say, thank you. <laughs> oh, gee, that's what friends are for, James. Hey, guys!